Well, these chalk talks are sure a lot more fun when this team is winning and the Seahawks have won four out of their last five. And we will not deviate players, formations, plays. I will say this one was as much about the execution of the play as it was anything else. Because player-wise, you know that Jermaine Curse down here in the red zone is probably where he's at his best. He's not going to be a blazer between the 20s, but he has a tremendous feel for coverage when the field condenses, and he does a really good job of using his body through contact. So you are putting Jermaine, I think, in an ideal situation. Formationally, nothing terribly exotic, just a, a tight split down here in the red zone where you're then going to explode and, and expand the field off of the formation. But players and formations don't stand out. What stands out more than anything, and it really did throughout this game with Russell Wilson, the passing game, the protection, was the ex execution within the play. So this is a uh, double stick nod, same concept on both sides. You call this a mirrored route because on both sides of the field, you're going to see the same route combination. You call this a stick route, stick route and a nod. Doug Baldwin is going to expand very quickly into the flat, which helps expand the coverage. You see the exact same thing on the other side. Luke Wilson's in for Jimmy Graham. This was about two plays after Jimmy Graham's loss for the season, and Tyler Lockett's going to do the same thing, a stick nod. Now here's the key, and here's the execution and the finer points within the play. First and foremost, protection. Protection. You can drop any play you want, like Tom Moore said, but you can do it on toilet paper if you can't protect. And this team's protection is where the execution starts. Pittsburgh decides to bring an extra linebacker. Well, like they did in many of these passing situations. So they're going to rush five, and they're going to do it. Um, by bringing a linebacker right up that A gap. So they're going to rush five. The Seahawks release four, and they've got six to protect. Here's the biggest key. Here's where I think Patrick Lewis and this group playing together stands out. You always want to block inside out. Okay, so this blitzing linebacker is coming up this A gap, and you really don't want your running back to come up and get in the way of the quarterback and his view and his read. You want to squeeze this protection down, and J.R. Sweezy does just that. Gilliam comes down, squeezes, and they give a big extra plus right here. A big star to Thomas Rawls, who is showing you not just as a runner, but in protection. He stones this pass rush, and this is a linebacker playing in in their nickel, and he just stones him. He doesn't wait for him. He doesn't let him get into Russell's lap. There is nothing but nice air in a nice little pocket, a nice little bubble for everything for Russell to see. And it starts with that inside-out protection and Thomas Rawls not being a rookie, not being hesitant. He knows what the Lions going to do. They're going to slide down. He knows what he's going to do. He's going to stone this end, and he is going to do it really outside of this nice little bubble and pocket and allow Russell to do his thing. So point number one, protection. Number two, Russell, you've got to identify. When you've got a mirrored route on both sides, you really have to be cued into your pre-snap and your post-snap read. In pre-snap, everything tells you, I'm going to go to Jermaine. I don't think you like this outside technique of coverage here. When they widen, they're going to get right on the back of Tyler Lockett. You love how that safety is going to be head up on Jermaine at the snap and allow him to really influence on that out route, that stick nod. And then most importantly, man, you are going to stare this safety down your first two steps. So he receives the ball and watch it. Watch his eyes on tape. He is looking right down the middle of the field. He knows he's going to have this chasm to throw to. He knows he's going to have a bigger window of opportunity the better he stares that thing down. And then he's going to trust. And I think that's the ultimate here in the execution of the Seahawks that I saw on Sunday. He's going to trust protection. He's going to trust the play call. He's going to trust the route that he's going to have the patience, Jermaine, to do a wonderful job to set it up, the body control to come out of it, the ability to protect himself in this window knowing that contact is coming. Trust. Execution. The finer points and the details and protecting well really helped set up the Seahawks passing offense to some unprecedented levels last Sunday.